I will show you the latest carriage that I've done um, as a sort of blog or video log. Um, I've been doing uh, a lot of um, facial sculpts as you can see. Um, the fat guy. I think girl 4, I might be girl young. Trying to figure out which one was the most successful. It might have been Gail Young. Yeah, that was probably the most successful female face that I made. Um, I think it was based off a female actress um, from, the, from the UK. I think she's called. Uh, she's in the uh, Hollyoaks, and she was on that Dancing His Eyes crap. Uh, what's her name? Uh, Georgie Potter. Uh, I based that off her face. Cause she has really, she has like a cute nose, and uh, the shape of her eyes were really sort of um, seductive. I don't know, she just has a very pretty face. So I based that off Georgie Potter. Uh, another successful one might have been the younger angry guy. Uh, what did I call him? Might have been. Might have been new male. Um, no, this is a punk character that I was doing. Um, I was trying to go for some sort of realistic anatomy sort of stuff. This is the most recent guy I've done actually. Um, but let me just switch to... If I go to... Uh, UV Master... Transpose... Subtool Master... I want to go to... I think there's a way... Scale offset... Delete invisible. Ah, I, I swear there's a plugin that turns off all the um, turns off all the poly paint information. But they might have different materials on, so I'm not too sure. Oh, actually, no, it won't. See, material information is all on the poly paint as well. But let me just show you what I mean about my cap. See, this is in Matcap Pearl, right? And it doesn't really look like Matcap Pearl because it's set to sort of mid grey value. If I whack it up, I mean, even at full blast, you know, Matcap Pearl still looks okay, but I'm interested to a mid grey. It just sort of brings out all the detail and all the cavities and stuff, but retains a uh, sense of form as well. And you can see all these veins and stuff like that. And it just looks, it looks good. And I've never used my cap pearl before, so. Yeah. Give it a go. But my main focus on this guy uh, was clothing and upper body and army. And I'm not necessarily trying to make him look like some sort of, you know, Herculean warrior or something, you know. I just wanted to look like a genuine guy. Uh, I had some pretty good reference from uh, 3D.SK. Uh, this punk guy looks really radical, <laughs> but yeah, it was a good, it was a good project. That might be maybe angry guy. That's my phone ringing in the background. Angry guy. No, this one turns out to be a fail. I was trying to go for a proper mean-looking guy, you know, like real badass, but he just doesn't look that good. He wasn't. Too, I think I went to the high, higher sort of levels of detail uh, too early. So I missed out a lot of major forms work. Um, muscle Beast. This was an anatomy sculpt for a mutant character that I was doing. Uh, it was just a basis. Um, I'm not quite sure where the finished thing is of the mutant. Um, this is a later version of the mutant. Um, when I was making boots and stuff for him, 
Uh, yeah, this is a pretty successful character. This is the most recent, one of the most second. Did the punk guy, and then before I did this guy. Uh, anyway, he looks pretty cool. He's pretty beast, you know, muscle wise, and I'm going to be all mutated. Uh, this skin looks a bit odd. Uh, face is pretty messed. Uh, but the main focus as well was making ripped clothing, like really sort of, you know, like proper knackered stuff, uh, really intricate detail. And the boots as well, yeah, I wanted the boots to look really nice and really high fidelity. Um, wasn't that hard to do once you figure out technique. Um, like for the stitching. That's just a uh, standard brush with this alpha on and it has a bit of roll, a bit of roll on there using that roll distance, I think that's set to roll distance to about 3.5 or something, like maybe maybe 3 uh, and what that does is it pulls to that in uh, in conjunction with lazy mouse which sort of averages out the stroke. Uh, what it does is it stops and starts the alpha map, so it sort of rolls on this, this circle for a certain point, stops it and rolls it on a little bit more. If you play with those two settings, um, roll, and you have lazy mouse on, city lazy, I think I use lazy radius of 20, and I just put one smooth on, click to roll on, put roll distance up to about 2.9, whatever, around 3. And you know, I just got my standard brush. Yeah, and we'll just go with some of it. Solo it off. Uh, you might want to do set your focal shift so it's the entire size of the brush. And um, let's see, put roll on. I don't know the brush on it. Lazy radius, 20 again. Let's move up one. And it's still not working for some reason. Yeah. Turn the alpha on obviously. And um yeah, you get this sort of rolling alpha effect. It would work better with a pill alpha. Pill being it's sort of like a rectangle but with um rounded sort of circular edges. Um just play around with these values really and see what, what it is you get. But I found standard brush to be really good for sort of stitching details and stuff. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Sort of blog update, sculpting, diary sort of stuff. Um, young, I think I've got some really comedy stuff in here. Some really sort of failed attempts. Um, it's way too low, it's probably getting a little laggy, a bit of memory. I've got all this crap open. Um, not quite sure what it's doing. Uh, do not switch, please. Alright. <laughs> yeah. That was an early attempt at a female. It just looks very derpy. Um, it doesn't look too bad from the front. You know, the forms are a bit off. But, you know, a female face, plus I'm male, and I'm used to sort of looking at females. Uh, obviously, I was going to find it a bit more difficult, but, you know, I eventually did get better, as you saw from the other one. Um, muscle beast, mutant, mutant, mutant. Skull. I, I, I actually made a skull as well. It was a bit elongated, but the reason I did this was to try and understand forms a little bit better. It helped me figure out how to make eyes because the eyes see in this socket and the way that the skin sort of hangs down from the eyebrows and the eyes and stuff and the muscles wrap around it. It was pretty helpful. I suggest you do skull to skull. Um, old dude. Ah, I remember this guy. I think this was probably one of the first male's heads that I did. Uh, there's a bit of, uh, what should we call it on there as well, fibre mesh for the thingies, yeah, the rough and tough look. <laughs> but you know, he wasn't that good, this guy. Um, 
the eyelids are a bit weird, but the, de the detail is good, you know. There's a few sort of odd features here, you know, like these, the transition between these two is a bit weird. Uh, but I'm done. Let me close the brush down. Let's see how long this has been recording for. An hour and ten minutes. So yeah, that, that sculpt must have taken me about an hour. So that's pretty cool. Alright, let's take another swig of orange juice there, that's going to be it. I'm going to get my phone out of my pocket. I'm ready to pause. <laughs> got to pause easy thing. Okay. Undone. Twat.